Welcome back here to Adelante Chicago. Well, born at 25 weeks and five days, a mother has spent the last year caring for her twins at a Southside Children's Hospital. It's been a journey that forced her to rely not only on her faith, but her passion for a Mexican sport that she used as personal therapy during this time. Along the way, she had the help of La Rabita Children's Hospital. And joining us today are Francinette Yama's mom to Damien and Javier. Also with her, Megan Dwyer, who is a director of communications and media relations at La Rabita Children's Hospital. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thank nice you to so have much you for here. Thank you. Uh, I want to start with how the twins are doing. How are you coping and how are they doing today? Oh, they are doing really good. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Now they, they've come a long way. Um, but so far, they're good. They are all over the place as a one year old would <laughs> be. <laughs> sure, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> that's normal. But, you know, it was, we never expected to be and get this far. And the fact that they are advancing in therapy and mm -hmm. medically and everything At that they're level, doing yeah. now, we're doing great. Okay. So, and I am just going along with it. It's one day at a time, <laughs> yes, one step at a time. Definitely. Okay. We got to slow down and breathe sometimes, but <laughs> we're doing good. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that because you've got such a unique story as to how you've been getting through this. But I want to bring in Megan Dwyer to talk about La Rabita Children's Hospital. And some of you at home may recognize Megan because <laughs> she's been such a part of WGN for such a long time here. But it's nice to see you in this new role. And I'm sure everybody there is so thankful to have you. Oh, thank you so much, Lourdes. It's all about storytelling and yeah. lifting people up. And, uh, and that's what I'm doing in my new role. So La Rabita has been around for 125 years. You may not have heard about us mm -hmm. like you would hear about Lurie's or University of Chicago, uh, but we have been providing the same gold standard of care for disenfranchised populations. So we turn nobody away. We give everybody medical care that they need um, and very high quality Medicare um, or very high quality medical, medical care. 90% mm -hmm. of our patients are on Medicaid. Um, 11% are Latinx, and we make sure that they have everything that they need because, as Francinette found out, you, it's not very easy to just find a pediatrician when you have really medically complex kiddos. Okay, yes. and that was a case, in your case, yes. your, your children were born weighing what, a, a One, over a pound, uh, yeah. Yes, um, Damien was a pound and 13 ounces, and Javi was two pounds and 10 ounces. Okay. Little miracle. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, and, and it warms my heart to hear that they're doing so well today. They and that are, they're recovering. Yes. Okay. Uh, I talked about your unique experience and how you were able to cope through this because I know that it's such a part of your life. So you brought into this and you dealt with this by turning to charreria, yeah. which if many of us are familiar with what that is and how it's a big national Mexican sport. So tell me about your it's experience. The only. It's the only, okay? <laughs> yes. It's the only Mexican. Mexican, um, national Mexican sport. A lot of people think it's soccer, um, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Let's clarify. But it is Chedaria. It's actually um, my husband is, you know, all like their family, uh, it's, they've been shadows all their life. Um, and I actually started when I met my husband. Uh, I've always loved horses and riding in Chedaria. And it's just, I, we never had the means to actually do it. Mm -hmm. It is a very expensive sport. But um, it's so therapeutic, and so it's just fun, and it's just, it's beautiful. And then the culture, and you know, it's just the tradition. Mm -hmm. Everything that encompasses Chaleria is just, you just love and it. I so it's just, you know, going through tough time, mm -hmm. riding your horse is just, it helps you just It's a way to it. kind of decompress. Yes. And, and Megan, who um, it, through La Rabita, you guys wrote a whole article on yeah. your experience. Um, and talk about what that was like, those first few moments when you decided, okay, I need to take a break and step back because this has been so difficult for my family. And you turned to Charreria and that your husband actually had to help you. I think my husband had to help me get on the <laughs> horse. <laughs> it's, um, well, you know, after being in the NICU for 10 months um, straight, I didn't leave the twins' side at all. So when I finally decided, I was like, you know, I need to decompress and actually get my mind, you know, in order and away a little bit. Um, you know, your back is not the same. Yeah. The body's a little bit different <laughs> and condition is needed. Mm -hmm. It's essential to ride side saddle. 
um, in Ch you know, in Escaramusa, you have to do side saddle. So my horse is a little bit on the taller side, and my husband <laughs> saw the struggle <laughs> of me trying to get on it. So I needed a little bit of, of a boost. Of a boost. <laughs> um, but after, once I'm on the horse, it's just a completely different, it's just, you're different. You're flying. Sure. You're, you're just. Well, and you definitely needed it at a time like this. And it's so it nice was. that you were able to combine those two sources of help, yes. La Rabita Children's Hospital and Charreria and your family. So we're so happy that everybody's doing well and the recovery ahead is yes. looking good. Okay. Yes. Um, Megan, one more time. You've got a website. If people want to get more information about La Rabita, what is that? We and what things should they know as they go on? There? Absolutely. It's LaRabita.org. So we have inpatient beds, but we also serve about a thousand kids uh, in our in outpatient center where they come for doctor's appointments. Um, we specialize in diabetes and in sickle cell and we have an entire behavioral health unit in Hyde Park um, where kids can come for free uh, mm -hmm. counseling services. So we're a huge proponent of health equity. We're at 65th in the lake. Um, that's where the hospital is. Um, but we provide wraparound services for entire families. We don't just treat one condition. We make sure that families feel empowered and that they can take their really medically complex care kids home and give them the best care at home as well. So. All right. Love the information right there on your screen. LaRabita.org. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Thanks Thank so much, you. Florida.